Hello and welcome. I'm Saffron. This is Domino and this is Healing Womanhood. Um, Domino's not been with us for a little while so um, it's nice to see him back in the videos. Um, today we are going to be talking about, we're going to be doing and doing some EFT for when you feel trapped in the wrong life. So um, if you want to skip ahead to the EFT you can do that now um, and for those of you who want to hear about it I'm just going to share a little bit about my experience with this. Um, so the feeling of being trapped in the wrong life, um, this is another one that I'm kind of directing at the LGBTQ plus community um, because I think wouldn't it be great if there's like an EFT YouTube channel for us um, so maybe maybe this will be that. Um, so but it can apply to all kinds of things. Um, my experience with it was that um, I was in a marriage to a man um, and that that had some real positives about it and um, I that's how I have my two amazing kids and so there's a lot that I wouldn't undo about that and towards the end of that situation, um, towards the end of that marriage, I, I did have that feeling of being trapped in the wrong life. So you may want to use this tapping for something that's happened in the past or you might want to use it for a present situation. Um, it's uh, It could be used for um, relationship things but I think it might be equally useful if you're feeling like you're in the wrong job or uh, just another situation that doesn't doesn't really fit with you and that's that's making you feel constricted and trapped. So have a little think about a time in the past or a situation in the present where you felt a bit trapped and why things haven't felt quite right um, and then we'll start tapping. So I'm going to use present um, present day wording so I'm going to say even though I am trapped but if you're working on a past one you can change just change the am to was even though I was trapped um, and it will be just as effective so beginning on the side of the hand <laughs> so even though I'm trapped in a life that doesn't feel right for me and I feel panicked and constricted I choose to love and accept myself fully and completely. Even though part of me feels like this life is a trap that I've become caught in. This is the wrong life for me. It belongs to someone else. And I choose to love, accept and forgive myself. Fully and completely. Even though I'm feeling trapped and constricted in this life that's not for me. And part of me is blaming my past self for the choices that led me here. I choose to be gentle and loving and kind with myself now. I'm moving on to the point. I'm feeling really trapped. noisy grooming there. I'm feeling really trapped in this life. I feel like it belongs to someone else. Somehow I've got caught up in this story and it's not even mine. And part of me is angry with my past self for the choices that led me to this moment. And 
I'm ready to find some compassion for that version of myself. that felt that this was the best and the safest thing to do. Because maybe at that time it was. Maybe it's not so easy as I'm making it out to be. Maybe I've always done the right thing at the time. But times have changed. And I'm ready to be more fully and more authentically me now. I'm ready to step further and further into my true self. And so I've got to make some changes. I'm ready to make some changes and that feels really scary and it's okay to be scared I'm ready to take the steps that feel manageable as and when I feel ready I'm allowing my inner knowing to guide me towards those steps. And I'm being really patient with myself. Part of me feels trapped in the wrong life. But maybe those words aren't helping me. because I'm not really trapped. There are choices I can make that will get me out of this. And trapped implies a permanence. There's nothing permanent here. I am masterful at creating change. That's something that I'm really good at. So there's nothing trapped about it. So I wonder if it's really wrong. Trapped in the wrong life. Is there any such thing as the wrong life? Is there any such thing as the right life? What if there were infinite ways of having a life? And not one of them could be right or wrong. I wonder if that feels more true to me. This doesn't really suit me. But that doesn't make it wrong. And is it really my life? Or is it just this situation? Maybe it's just one part of my life that doesn't feel good. And I already know it's temporary. So maybe rather than trapped in the wrong life, I'm temporarily in an uncomfortable situation. how that feels to say.
maybe it feels more hopeful. Maybe there's a lot more hope in being temporarily in an uncomfortable situation. Maybe there's a lot more agency. A lot more things that I can do to change it. So even though I'm temporarily in an uncomfortable situation, I'm ready to love this part of the process of my life. And whilst I'm preparing to leave this situation, I'm also open to recognising the gifts that it's given me. Because there are some positives. And it might be too soon for me to see them right now. It might not even be healthy for me to see them right now. But I'm open to the possibility that I'm learning some things. That will give me more understanding in the future. More compassion and kindness. more gentleness and depth. Taking these gifts and moving on now. It's time for a change. Whenever and however feels right for me. Inviting change into my life in ways I might not have even thought of yet. I'm ready to embrace opportunities and maybe even create some. Building my new life begins today. <sighs> Take a deep breath and let me know how that went for you. So when I was talking about my story around this, um, I remember feeling having this really strong feeling that I wanted to be rescued. So I would hear stories about married women meeting other women like at the hairdressers and running off with them and creating this new life. And I think, I just need to meet a woman that can rescue me. Um, and in the end, it just became really apparent that I was the woman who needed to rescue me. Um, and, and part of my experience after that was having a long single period, which was so crucial to my development. And I resisted that every step of the way not every step of the way there were there were parts of that of that time where i sort of chose that yeah i'm gonna stay single for a while but a lot of that time um i was looking for a relationship so the change that you create may not necessarily be what you think it's going to be um that you may have an idea of what you want your life to be and the right thing might be something different or it might be exactly as you picture it so I think staying open to the possibilities is really crucial and taking control of your own situation, not waiting for somebody else to do it for you. And yeah, I kind of mentioned at the outset that I'm kind of holding the LGBTQ plus community in mind with this video as well and, and hopefully some of my future videos. And um, I just want to really clarify that that is not to suggest that every member of the LGBTQ plus community is, is trapped in the wrong life or has been trapped in the wrong life. Um, or that anyone outside of that community has never had that feeling because I think it's probably quite a universal feeling. But I would love to hear how that landed for each of you and how it felt to do that tapping. Um, regardless of how you identify, I'd love to know. Um, 
yeah, what came up for you, what aspects of life, um, yeah, resonated with that because, yeah, maybe something that I haven't even thought of and I would love to know more. So thank you very much for tapping with me today. It's been lovely to see you and um, I look forward to seeing you again in the next video. Bye-bye.